Hey everyone. So we did a little bit of walking refactoring last episode. This episode we get to do something I've been trying to accomplish since I've got the engine and that is make projectiles. Make them destroy things and make them destroy themselves if they come in contact with a wall, etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to just keep it simple. We're going to use this attack animation that we have, but we're going to put it on a separate action so it will be another button that we press to get there. And it, as it's doing the attack animation, it's going to throw the sword in the direction of the player. So we're going to have two attacks, one that's just a normal sword and then one that will be a sword throwing a sword. So let's get in there and let's get started in the resource tab. First things first, we got to add what I've called the sword projectile. Something interesting in Pixel Game Maker, they refer to them as bullets. So maybe I should refer to them as bullets since that's what most of the commands are. So we'll just start that right now. The sword bullet. Kind of cool. I've always wanted to shoot a sword bullet. And now let's go to animations and let's make a new animation. Call this the sword bullet. And we will register it to the sword bullet. Kind of redundant, but it makes sense. And it, we wanted a motion animation. We'll click OK, and here we are. So we only need one motion, and we'll just call this the, the active bullet state. That's when it's moving. We know that it's, it's in the map moving. We let's click on the list again, and let's make it center on this one. So we'll center it. And... So we got the motion done, no loop, that's good. Direction, and we're just going to give this all direction. And the reason all direction is because we're going to click this option right here, and that is going to rotate it depending on the player's direction. So it's like an all-in-one thing. So we, we really only need one direction, and it's for all of them. So now let's go to the frame. And just something that I want to show you works is we have an option right here. For, for one, this bullet is facing the wrong way. You actually need them facing this way. And then that is the direction that it will be no matter what direction you are with this option clicked. But facing down, it's just going to be going backwards each direction. So we need to fix that. There's a couple ways we could do it. One, I, I already gave a a sprite of it the right way but we're just going to click flip vertical and we're going to use it like that and just one to show you that that works and that is an option so now we need to let's go to the motion and let's set up our collisions we do not need collision detection unless you were planning on maybe one being blocked if someone else swung a sword which is totally possible, but for us, we are just going to focus on the wall detection. Let me see here. The wall detection will be, I'm going to make it a little less than the projectile. And we'll go like that. Be a little, there we go. Yeah, like that. And then we need an attack detection because that's going to tell you it hit. So then we'll grab this attack detection and we'll go out a little bit on it we won't we won't skimp on the attack detection we'll just expand it and that's it for the active bullet we just needed our attack our wall collider a direction that was auto rotating and we needed to flip the vertical axis so one thing while we're in animations is we're going to go with the player. We're going to go to the sword attack. We don't need to duplicate. We can just use the same one. But what we do need to do is we need to add a connection point with these directions. So the connection point is where the projectile is going to come out of this sprite. So let's click this connection point down here on the downward direction. And we're going to add a keyframe. And it, it auto populates in the top right, or top left, sorry. And we're just going to bring it down about right there. Yeah, that looks about right. 
where, where the sword will spawn and shoot out. And then we're going to go to the left. We're going to do the same thing. Click right here, add a keyframe, drag it over about right there. Go to the right, add a keyframe, drag it about right there. And on the up, add a keyframe and drag it about right there. So that is where it will spawn. We might bring it in. We'll see how this looks. If it spawns over the player, then I would need to figure out something. Obviously we want it to spawn under the player's head. So, and that's really all we need for the animations portion, at least as far as I can think of right now. So let's jump to the objects and let's create a, the bullet, sword bullet. And this is gonna be the sword bullet animation and it's gonna be a player group, but not controlled. We're gonna allow the enemy hit detection and the wall detection of the, well, let's go enemy for now. And then also the default tile, because we want them to stop at the tile sets. So we're gonna bring this up and we're gonna call this one uh, active bullet. Yeah, that's fine, active bullet. So we know that when it's in this phase, it is moving. And so when the bullet's moving, we just need to think of when do we want it to stop? And there's a, a few ways, there's a, there's a few things we want it to stop for. First off, let's add the action of it stopping. So we will call this one destroy. And this one will just be the destroy object. And we'll click okay. So now let's add the link. And I like to just color the red, obviously means it's destroying. And we're going to add some conditions to this active bullet. So this, again, this bullet is moving in the air, not by anything we're doing. It's gonna be by the engine itself. And we'll get into that when we put the bullet with the player here in a little bit. But as it's going through the air, we want it to stop for wall detections, for hit block, uh, hit block box collisions through enemies. And we want it, we're also gonna give it a timer. So it's only gonna be alive for, I don't know, 0.7 of a second. So let's add those. Let's go to this condition and we want it first, if the tiles wall detection, we'll set all and we'll just do it by the default tile set and we'll click okay. Next, we'll add collision detection with another object. We'll select all and we'll say enemy type group and then we'll hit okay. You can also have a projectile that specifies an object. So you can make it, you can make projectiles really specific. We're just gonna do general right now and we'll hit okay. We also wanna change this to or because either one of these, not we don't need both to happen to, to destroy it. We just need either one. And then the last thing, if it doesn't hit anything, we'll go to page two here, after a certain time passes, and we will set that to, let's do 0.7 right now and see how that feels. We'll go okay. Again, make sure this is or. All right, so we have our condition set, and when one of those conditions is met, it destroys itself. So the sword bullet is set up. Now let's go to the player and get the player to actually uh, uh, shoot the bullet when, when you press the button. So first things first, let's think of what button we want. And I'm going to choose, we'll go with the B button on the controller. So let's go to settings, control key management and we'll go to control key name the B button and we'll double click it. And I'm just gonna choose, I'm gonna go with A. So I just clicked and pressed A and it assigned it. Hit okay, hit okay again. Actually there's two A's in there I just noticed. So let's just delete this one, say not set for now. 
Yep, so that's how you can take them off. So we'll hit OK. So we need an action for a motion before he shoots the project projectile. And so we need the sword attack one. So we're just going to copy and we're going to paste it. And so this will be the sword bullet attack. And everything is going to be the same. We want to ignore the input, ignore movement direction. However, we do want something to happen here. We want the fire bullet. So before we can get there, though, we have to set the bullets first. So let's set the bullet before we get into firing it. So up here, there's the cog wheel. And when you click on it, you can see some extra options that you can add to these tabs right here. And one is, well, there's a couple cool ones. There's field of vision lighting one. There is common action, which is sim similar to common events in RPG Maker. And then here is the bullet shot setting. So let's click that, click OK. And nothing really happens except for the tab now appears for the bullet setting. And it's, it's only going to be for this object. As soon as you click off, this object doesn't have a bullet setting. So it's specific to the object. So back on the player here on the bullet setting, we're going to add a bullet. We're going to call it the sword. Sword bullet. And we're going to use the sword bullet object that we made. We're not going to make it into the child. We're, we are going to say that there's no limit. This is how you can limit how many bullets are in the scene. There's a lot of different options here that I really want to try out someday, like a boomerang, trajectory, a lot of cool stuff. But we're just keeping it simple, and we're going to shoot in specified direction, and the shooter, the shooter object's direction is what we're going to use. That is how we can get away with the animation rotating based off the player's direction. So that should be it for setting up the bullet. We are now going to go back to the action programs, and we're going to call the bullet. So fire the bullet. We're going to do the sword bullet, and we're going to do it to the connection point that we set up on the sword swings animations. I'm going to click OK here. Now we need a similar input condition that we had when you did go to sword attack. And it was very simple. It was when A is pressed. So we're going to create a link to the sword bullet from idle and also a link from walking because remember you can attack when you're idle or walking. So, and we can just copy this. Oh, I guess you can't copy this. So we'll just go into them and we will click the following input and we're going to choose B because that's what we assigned the A keyboard button to. And the following input and we'll go B again. Hit OK. And then we will add a link back to idle. Not sure if I showed this last time but you can hold shift and move this around and it and it lines up straight. Pretty cool trick someone in the Discord was talking about, or maybe it was on the Twitter. And the condition to go back to idle is just a simple if the motion plays to the end. And so that's how easy it was to set up the link to fire the bullet and then to go back to your normal walking around. So I probably forgot something, but this is where testing it out comes in handy. So let's test it out. Let's walk around and let's see the moment of truth. If you hit A. Okay, so I did forget something. So the bullet's shooting and you can see that it's working. The animation is backwards, so maybe I was mistaken and it's also moving slow. So let's fix these. Let's go to the sword bullet first off and let's fix the the movement speed. 
let's give it a movement speed of let's try eight basically double what our player is let's try eight and let's go to basic settings not pushed back by others that's good all right and so now let's go back to the all and let's unflip it and see if that see if I was wrong with that so let's hit the play and let's hit the A and there it goes okay so that's the right direction that's the right direction okay so I was mistaken and maybe I didn't know because I had the projectiles going so fast I couldn't even see so so let's see if it breaks the pot yep now let's see if it stops at a tile it does it even funnily enough stays for a second I think there might be a problem there it should destroy right away and then also the time if the time runs out it it destroys itself so real quick let's just see if I misplaced something in the action program here and it was detect walls default wall tile oh I know why so we do need this but we also need this we also need this one detect wall detection of other object and we can say this one of the house specific just for the sake of this video because our house is an object so that that one particular house is an object so we need to add this we'll hit OK and we'll make sure it's an or and now let's test it out on this house right here and there it goes so there are some things we just got to be more aware of, or I have to be more aware of. You can see the wall detection works because this house is a tile set. So that's working fine. That's working fine. Now we're just breaking these pots. And then we didn't set up wall detection for that one. So yeah, it's working. Pretty fun to do. And you can easily add a particle effect to it when it hits and or a sound effect or something like that so hopefully that helps setting up a basic bullet i know it's kind of all over the place i forgot a few things hopefully you can follow that but it it definitely was awesome when i finally got it to work so all right well have a good night